Florida Congressman Michael Waltz, a member of the House Armed Services Committee, a National Guard colonel, and former Green Beret, along with California Congressman Salud Carvajal, also on the House Armed Services Committee and a Marine Corps veteran. Welcome to you both. Good to hey, be thanks, here. Trey. Thank you, Trey. All right, I'm going to ask you both the, uh, the same question. I'm going to start with you, Congressman Carvajal. What led you to want to serve our country in uniform? What, what led you to want to serve in that way? Well, Trey, first of all, let me just say that I'm an immigrant to this country. I immigrated when I was five years old. I was lucky to have come through the normal process. Uh, you apply, you get vetted, and you come to this country. That's when the system worked. Uh, we have a long way to, to go to make that system work again. But as an immigrant to this country, I will tell you, the opportunities that this country has given me and my family have been enormous. And I, I, I felt that one of the things I could do is to give back and to serve our nation, this nation that I have made my new home uh, as an immigrant. And it has been an honor and a privilege to come to this country, and it is the greatest country on earth. And I decided to serve because I wanted to give back and make sure that we protect those ideals, our democracy and our constitution and the freedoms that we all enjoy here in this country. Congressman Walsh, we heard the story of someone who immigrated to our country and wanted to serve the country. What's your story of story of service? Well, I grew up in a, in a family of service uh, in Jacksonville, Florida, a Navy town just outside of a Navy base. I defected and went Army uh, later on, but I always knew I wanted to serve, and I agree this is the greatest country on Earth. I had the opportunity uh, to go abroad uh, at an early age, and you know, it just made me appreciate how great this nation is, uh, and that while it, it, it may have had its flaws and have its flaws and will always seek to improve them, uh, this is the greatest nation on earth, and, and uh, you know, I would be willing to put my life on, on the line for, for my children, my family, our, our grandkids one day to enjoy the freedoms uh, that Representative Carbajal and I uh, have enjoyed. And I think that perspective is one of the reasons, Trey, we need more veterans in Congress. Uh, we're at a record low now. In the 70s, three quarters of the Congress had served. Now it's hovering around 18 percent. And it's not so much we agree on every issue. We disagree on all kinds of issues. But that ethos, you know, in the foxhole, no one cares uh, about background or rich or poor or black, or white or brown. It's it's about whether you're American. It's about mission. It's about country uh, and, and serving something bigger than yourself. And I'm proud to serve in a caucus of veterans with Representative Carbajal called For Country, because if we're willing to die for that flag, uh, we can take the tough votes and make the tough compromises to move this great nation forward. I well, couldn't agree more. Obviously tough men. <laughs> you're obviously both tough men, so let me ask you a tough question. And I'm speaking to yeah. myself, too, because I was once where y'all are sitting, but, but <laughs> people in uniform are held to such a high, in such high regard. And you mentioned the esprit de corps that exists even on, on, on the floor of the House among those who serve. How do we elevate public service to, to maybe not to where the military is, but at least get it higher than where it is? How, how, do, how, how do we capture that feeling y'all feel about the military and translate that into public service? I'll let you go first, Congressman Walton, and then you, Congressman Carbajal. Well, you know, that's why, uh, and, and I know uh, Representative Carbajal agrees, I believe we need to get back as a nation uh, to, to national service, and that's something this, that our caucus is behind. That's not necessarily a draft uh, tray, but I think we can incentivize it. Uh, you know, we're talking about giving uh, a lot of things away, like educational benefits. Uh, let's let's get some service for that in return, where you learn leadership, followership, teamwork, and you do it with people who don't look like you. You know, a World War II veteran uh, told me that he had never coming from the segregated South, spoken uh, to an African-American before, really, in his life, until his bunkmate in the Navy uh, was a black man, and they became lifelong friends. But, you know, it doesn't have to be in the military. It can be in national parks, inner-city tutoring, Peace Corps. I don't care, but I think if we get folks where they graduate high school, they go serve a year or two, and then they get some kind of benefit and get those life lessons and go back out into society, I think we'll be a much better country for it. 
I, I couldn't I agree more. Uh, I think national public service is really what could bring our country together and make us more cohesive and work through these uh, challenging issues of race that I think sometimes uh, challenge us. And I think bringing people from various backgrounds, it doesn't matter, as, as Representative Walt said, uh, wealthy, poor, uh, irrespective of your ethnic background, together for a common purpose uh, to make our country better, uh, I think will, will bring us together and help us develop the type of cohesiveness as a country that we want to have when it comes to patriotism and putting our, our national interests first before other things that oftentimes divide us. So I, I couldn't agree more with uh, Representative Waltz. I served with Representative Waltz on the Four Country Caucus. I believe we're on the Problem Solvers Caucus together. These are bipartisan efforts, bipartisan groups that strive to work through our differences but find common ground when at all possible. Because we know that at the end, we don't want to be marred with the gridlock that exists in Washington. We want to try to find opportunities to get beyond that. And, and I think having a military background has really helped us uh, achieve that in great part. Well, we, we honor your service to our country, uh, all manifestations of public service, especially your time in uniform. Thank you for being with us tonight. Happy July 4th to both of you and your families. All right. Thank, Thank you, you Trey. Trey.